Hey guys, welcome back to Dr. Soybean's Blind Let's Play of Super Mario Land 3 Tatanga's Return Part 10 and here we are continuing in World 5 with Chaotic Climb. Really digging this world so far, a mixture of uh, forest elements and uh, uh, I guess lava elements for lack of a better term. And there's a, a block again similar to uh, a block that you see in Mario 3. This guy is, I'm guessing, a pretty big fan of Mario 3. Should I? Uh, what's over there? Yeah, that's what I figured. Golden Mushroom. Not worth the risk, in my opinion, considering we're sitting at about, I think, 17, 16, 17 lives at this point. Something like that. Okay. Damn. It's a never-ending stream of baseballs. Pretty straightforward so far. Uh, one of those ones that changes direction. Again, right out of Super Mario 3. Anything down there? Nope. Okay, that was nicely avoided, if I do say so myself. That was not so nicely avoided. Alright, another direction changer. Let's see. Do we want to go up this pipe? Shit. Let's try going in the other direction this time. I'm not sure if I didn't hit it. Well, I'm gonna have to take that hit, I think. Crap, crap, crap! Can I please have a midway point? Wait, uh, fuck. And we didn't make it to the midway point. Or perhaps we missed one. You know what, let's, uh... Okay, 14 lives, doing pretty good still. Okay, got our feather back. And you know what? You're going to see a rarity from Dr. Soybean here. Let's do a save state. Just so we don't have to deal with all that again. Considering the midway point seems to be pretty high up there, or else maybe this is a very, very long level. Okay. There we go. Uh, 
I was close. <clears throat> Here we are at the end. No midway point in that level. Interesting. Okay, our first double exit of this world, Emerald Grotto Revisited. Okay, so once again, two exits. We want to be on the lookout for... Try every pipe. Be on the lookout for anything unusual. Yoshi's Island music. Again, like we did with the last world, if I can't find the uh, secret exit, I may just do it off screen. Well, off screen, I'll get to where the exit is in another part of this. Shit. Maybe that's the secret exit, actually. A lot less cryptic than the pyramid one, if it is. <clears throat> Mountaintop Morgue. Alright, let's do the... Let's do the regular exit for this one. Shit flying all over the place. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Damn swoopers. Alright, let's let that get us some coins. Okay. Right, midway point. Yes, that secret exit is definitely a lot less cryptic than the one in the desert. But maybe it's like I said, he was intending to do a lot of puzzles in the desert world due to the whole, uh, you know, pyramids and secrets, that whole connection. in there. Oh, just some coins. Okay. So far, so good. I like these crystal blocks you're floating on, too. I feel like that's some more custom sprite work from this hacker. Alright, and that must be our regular exit. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue on this way. Mega Goomba Monolith. Ah, that's cool. Those baby Goombas that make blocks jump. Again, from Mario 3. Oh, he spawned into two smaller Goombas. That's kind of cool.
Takes several hits to uh, kill them. Whoops. That was close. Almost burned my ass. Shit, I had a feeling that was gonna be one of those as well. Shit. Can't get under there unless you're tiny. Spin jump one shots them though. And doing good for time, so let's have a crack at the next level. <laughs> Donut look back. Oh, here we go. Auto scrolling just to torture me. Man, I could go for a donut right now. I'll be honest. I always liked, uh... Now they call them vanilla dip. Those donuts with the white frosting and the sprinkles on them. Remember when I was a kid, they used to call that a Hawaiian donut. And then all of a sudden they started calling it a vanilla dip. And I wonder if it's some kind of political correctness thing, like if... Somebody Hawaiian was offended by that. I can't see why, but you never know. Alright, halfway point. Shit, I should have gotten the tape first. That was really dumb. Because the tape would have been a mushroom, and then I probably would have gotten either a flower or a fire out of that. These blocks here that fall when you stand on them for too long, I don't know why, or... Well, I guess I know why, but uh, me and my brother used to call them soggy Cheerios when we were kids. You know when you're a kid, you don't bother to always look at the manuals or whatever and learn the enemies' names, so you kind of make up your own names for the objects and the enemies in the game? Crap. And I was doing so well. Is there going to be a kicker? Okay, ending perhaps? Yes. You know what, I think we got time for one more. Okay, Mountaintop Morg. Let's try this one. And we can begin next level with... Oh! Sorry, next part 11 with uh, the castle. Now this is fucking cool. Wow, very nice uh, level design, very cool concept. I'm digging this a lot, actually. Crap. Okay, thank you very much. Fucking booze. <clears throat> okay, halfway point. Perhaps another feather? Yes. 
Whoa, almost jumped right into that. Whoa, and almost landed on that bone. Did we get two or just one? I guess we did get three. Nice. Very cool level. Let's see the name of the castle and maybe we can get a sense of what the boss is going to be like. Great Splunkin's Castle. Hmm. I'm going to go to a limb and say some kind of giant pumpkin, but we'll find out next time. See you in part 11.